Hi everyone, it's Stephanie from Little Cookie Co. Welcome back to another Christmas video. So here we're going to start off with our polar bear cookie. A little trick that I've learned is you're not supposed to look exactly where you're piping when you're piping a circle. Try to look a little bit ahead of where you're going and that will get you a nice rounder circle. It's kind of hard to pipe a circle because sometimes it doesn't end up totally perfect. So this kind of trick helps you get a nice rounder circle than getting a little bit of an uneven one. I like to let my outline dry for a few minutes and then we're gonna come back and flood it. You can see my flood is already coming out of my bag before I get to my cookies. So I quickly kind of get in on there on my cookie and I don't go right to the edge just so I can control. That's kind of something that I do unconsciously now is I start a little bit inside the cookie when I'm flooding and then I move to the outside. Sometimes when you start right on the edge, you might put a little bit too much pressure or too much icing comes out at once. And so just starting a little bit inside lets me get that first blob of icing out just to have good control. You can tell I've made those mistakes before, so those are just little things that I do to make it easier for myself. We want to keep that edge of the cookie nice and clean. We don't want to spill any icing over it. And so this kind of helps me control that. That's another reason I outline my cookies. Some people don't like to use two consistencies, but I've had a lot of times where my flood will run off my cookie and I like to flood right to the edge of my cookies. So having a border as an outline and drying it a little bit really keeps all that icing in. If you're finding your icing does go over, you can always make your outline a little bit thicker. So here we're gonna make his kind of snout part of the nose and I'm using my outline consistency. It's a little bit on the looser side. It's not super, super thick, but the reason I'm filling it in with my outline consistency is because I want it nice and puffy. It's not too big of an area and because it's not super thick, it's working really well. If I had really stiff outline consistency, then I would probably outline this portion and then fill it in with my flood. But because it's on the looser side, it smooths out really, really easily. I want to make sure I do this part when I dried my white and you can tell that the white is dry because this gray icing is sitting on top of the icing. If it was still wet, it'd be sinking into it. So that's kind of the difference of waiting for your base layer to dry or not is whether your details are going to be sitting on top of the icing or if they're going to be sinking in. Then again, I'm going in doing these little ears with my outline consistency and it needs a little bit of help smoothing out. So I go in with my scribe and give it a little jiggle. And normally I outline all my details and fill with flood. If they're really tiny though, then I'll do this this way because it's a lot easier and I kind of have control when I'm doing these circles. I have a really hard time piping perfect circles. So this gives me a little bit of flexibility that if I didn't pipe it perfectly, I can move it around with my scribe a little bit and make them nice and round. Then I'm gonna add two little eyes here in white. and just need a little help with my scribe smoothing them out. That's with my outline consistency again. So all these details here are being done with my outline, my thicker icing. And then I'm gonna add the eyes. And you can see there's a little peak there with my black. So again, if you have a little peak, you can go in with your scribe and just kind of push it down or give it a jiggle and it usually smooths it out. And now I've waited for that gray area to dry and we're going to go in and do the nose. Now that the gray section has dried here, I'm going to go in with my black outline consistency and we're going to make a smaller kind of oval circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to go in and flood this section with the same icing. So this is again the same thick icing I just used to outline it. And I'm going in right away without wait, letting my outline dry. And this is because if it's not perfect, I can manipulate the area and make it a little bit bigger, make it kind of more even if I have to. You can see I'm jiggling my bag around as I'm still putting pressure and filling it up. And then I'm gonna use my scribe to make it nice and even and just kind of pull it down. I'm gonna make it sort of rounded triangle by 
I'm using my scribe to pull that icing down. I didn't really like the way it was when it was oval, so I'm gonna make it a little bit more pointier at the bottom. And this is a reason why, for these kind of type of things, that I use the same consistency and I kinda don't let my outline dry, just do it all at once, so then I can manipulate it with my scribe. And then we're just gonna add a nice big smile here at the bottom. Just taking my time to make sure I'm putting the ice exactly where I want it to be. And there you have it, a cute polar bear for Christmas.